Hello guys, welcome, you are with Mr. Pie Plays, and today we are playing Montague's Mount. A name I didn't know how to pronounce, so I had to Google it. I'm gonna confess right there and then. Uh, this is a psychological thriller game produced by Polly Pusher Studios. It's an indie game. And I believe the only thing I know is you're abandoned or you crashed onto an island and you have to find out what happened because apparently there are dead bodies and such. It looked like an interesting game. It wasn't very expensive. It was, um, I think I got it for £6.99 in pounds. So, you know, without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm just going to go through the settings first because it is a PC game and this is a PC eccentric channel because I do play most of the games on PC. Uh, screen resolution, you've got it all. anti aliasing film grain. Not very much. The only options you do have are on and off, but I'm sure there's an any file somewhere where you can actually change the values to your liking. Um, it's quite standard. You can change your field of view. It goes up to 100. After that, that's it. So it's not too bad. I'm going to keep it at 90. Um, just like a good preference to me. And, you know, normally over 90, you know, if the developers haven't taken it into account, the game can skew. You can see some errors and such like that. But just for this time, I'm going to keep it at 90. Uh, game, pretty much standard keys. Um, you can also customize them that's good and i'm not sure what the languages you can have it in different languages as well which is cool audio very limited an option you can you only have the on and off options you don't have a slider so i'm praying they do have the audio levels right i.e the ambient doesn't overpower any narration or dialogue from the characters because if it does that's gonna be quite annoying but without further ado anyway let's get back into the game so we're gonna explore the island this is montague's mount ladies and gentlemen Hello, if you have progressed sufficiently through Montague's Mount, you will see your progress here. Please choose a starting location using the photographs on the right. Interesting. So, first time playing it, so we're going to start a new game. Soundtrack is quite nice. Uh, more information about the game, link's going to be in the description. The water withdraws from my eyes. My focus pulls in upon my feathered friends watching me from above. I'm guessing overboard. Yes, that is what must have befallen me. I, I must have somehow been washed overboard. My clothes would suggest a life upon the seas, although I have no memories of such an existence, or any existence for that matter. Even my own name is currently hiding itself from me. I must find out what has led me to this beach and somehow Leave this place. Typical guy who has amnesia from the sounds of it. Masters Tronic and Polly Pushes, creators of this game. There's Polly Pushes Studios. You can currently get this. It was on 10% off at Get Games Go, released on the 10th of October. I'm not sure if the 10% is still remaining. If it is, the link will be in the description for you guys to check it out. This game also needs to be green lighted, so there's a link to green light it. Please do, it helps developers quite a lot, it gives them more exposure. I know helping indie developers is a good thing. They need all the exposure they can get. And it doesn't really take much, just one like and you're done. Plus, is a great place to find new games that you haven't played. This must be my character. And I'm moving already. Interesting. Interesting weird perspective. It's... Apparently, I am looking from his hat because I can see his face and nose and such. And I am quite tall. A moment captured in time. Interesting. Oh, quite weird perspective. I'm not sure if this is the camera that's messed up. That's what this says. A piece of paper. Okay, that's a compass. Uh, I think... Oh boy, that's terrible. There's no control keys here of any kind. Uh... 
Okay, would you guys like you need to open the gates latch, okay? So we'll do that there. I still have an outstanding task to complete. This it must be this. Explore the environment if uh you could tell me, you know, just how to pick this up. <coughs> that would be grateful. I'm actually now just pushing keys. I would have expected the game to pick this up for me, but apparently that's not the case. And it's now raining. Interesting environment indeed. Okay, we're gonna, and I can't choose, I can't see my options either. Achievement complete, examined 25 objects. I don't believe that was the case. And achievements in a game like this, why bother? Okay, well this is kind of annoying. With that said, Let's go back to the main menu because it's quite annoying that you can't actually see the options. And uh, what can we do? We have the weather being more ferocious as long as we wait here. Now, I'm seeing crates and a letter or note of something. So, let's go over here and see what's going on. I'm not sure if the, the character is actually painting. Something else is going wrong. Yes, a piece of paper. Okay, we have picked up something. That's good to know. Now, these things that look like I could pick them up. A of wooden spinner I'm not sure what's going on here explore the environment pack search the search the beach for a makeshift walking stick before leaving the beach oh crap I see it's trying to be more realistic in a sense that you don't um, actually pick up a letter and you know read it in detail you actually have to look at the letter and read it it's quite difficult okay actually now doing that i need to head back here once again and i have to find a makeshift stick <coughs> with which i can walk because my leg is really messed up quite badly so i'm gonna have a look here and see what this letter says Uh, this is where it becomes problematic because I can't, I don't have a freaking clue what it says. I have north, west, south and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to see if we can find a stick somewhere down there because I can't see anything here. I could find. Oh, hello, this is a stick. Ah, there we go. Oh god. Okay, now it's um the way the character is. Oh my god. This is why I was kind of afraid of um the 90 Okay. Press E whenever you see the information symbol or the interact symbol. <coughs> Tasks. Search the beach for a makeshift walking stick before leaving the beach. Yes, I think we got that. And we can now move on. Airy door. The old hermit shack. Does it help if I said this reminds me of good old English weather? Because it certainly does. Interesting how breaking your legs makes means you can run again. The electricity 
seems to be currently turned off. Explore further along the path, you may find the source of the power. Okay, we found old hermit's crab. Okay, a bit of a quote there. It felt like this was never going to end. The world wasn't going to stop crashing down till there was nothing left of me but dust. Maybe we can find more electricity source somewhere there. And what does this say? Some world objects like this shed door require other items. In this case, a key to work correctly. <coughs> Follow the path until you find the store shed and search for some keys. So we have a um, a power source we need to find. Uh, there's a railing line. And we also need to find a shed key. Let's remove this latch again. And open this creepy door. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, fucking kids? That just that didn't scare me, it just give me and I'm still shivering. It's um giving me goosebumps. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. So much blur. So much blur. Jesus. A washed up barrel. That was quite... It, it was it was goosebumps. It was just goosebumps. That was what it was. The store shed. Haha, -ha, here we are. A life ring. Okay, maybe this is not it. The old generator. Ah, I seem to be missing an object. It's quite dark. It is a problem. A sundial probably best used with a shadow caster. Okay, so I need to find a missing object. It doesn't tell me what and I can barely make out what's missing because it's so dark. So, re taking that into consideration, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if we can find something. Actually, let's look at this note which I missed. X, X and Z. Press I to view carry rooms and X and Z to select an item. You are you can only carry up to five items at any given time. Okay. And I need a I need to get the generator working before I can actually move this. A discarded pot. Okay, interesting. And there was supposed to be a key here somewhere. Ah, oh, wait a minute, is this the key? Ah, there we go. Found the key. Now we can head back to that little place, that shed. Hopefully no more kids coming away. Goddamn kids. Giving me the goosebumps. What does it say? Examined 100 objects. Why would you give an achievement? It makes no sense. And we have some fuel, I assume. A petrol can containing fuel. Okay, interesting. Now we can probably head back. It is probably what the generator acquired. And some more glitching within the character. Whenever we decide to stop this, I'm going to, um, in the next few videos, hope sort this.
little um, field of view problem out. It's not an issue when I'm looking this way, but when I look down, yeah, I can see my guy's head. Anyway, it would be really great to have some light. Not sure what's going on there. Shit. I'm supposed to get it in that circle. Oh, so close. No, missed again. There we go. Ah, let there be light. Now, before I do that, I'm going to head off back to that old shed I found. The first shed. Things are actually more luminous now that the light is back on. And it will also be a lot more creepy when lights are back on. So, I'm hoping there is light in this room and... Hello, oh my god, that cupboard. A pine wardrobe. Gas stoves and such. I'm not sure what this is. Colourful wooden spinner. Oh, so close. Okay, one, two, three. No. One, two, three, four. I was not going to play anything. Probably because I need a CD of some sorts. Oh, there's not actually much here. Time to head off. Oh, hold on a minute. Is this, um... A sundial caster? Ah. Would you fancy that? Oh, wait. We've seen that note. This is a broken record. We can't actually do anything with it. Oh, hey, more kids again. Early kid. Go away. You're dead. Stay dead. <coughs> Creepy as crap. Anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the Sundar caster onto this thing here. Maybe give me a time. Use both mouse buttons. I'm not sure how this works. We need to find... I'm assuming that is a... God knows if I know how to use a Sundar caster. I have no clue. So I, I'm i assuming the big part is where the dark caster is. And it's supposed to be pointing that way. So it's about 12, I guess. I don't know. I'm guessing. It's all a guess. Well, we've got that gate open, we've got the power back on, so we're going to flip this switch and hopefully the gate moves. Okay. I pushed the gate to make it open. Makes sense. And we have more latches. Oh, look at that! A swinging seesaw! That certainly helps brighten up the mood. <laughs> 